G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab and today I'm at All Energy on day one at one of my favourite stands, Pylon Tech, and I'm here with Jeremy. He's going to tell us all about their new all-in-one solution, the H3X. So Jeremy, what's so special about the H3X? Yeah, so for the H3X, this is the all-in-one solution. It contains um, the inverter and the batteries together. So this is a stackable battery. It's very easy for the installation uh, on site. And uh, for the single phase inverter, the power range is uh, from uh, 6.6 kilowatt, uh, 3.6 kilowatt to 8 kilowatt. And for each battery module, it's a uh, 5 kilowatt hour. And for the single phase inverter, we can stack ball 1 to 4, 4 is maximum, and which is a 20 kilowatt hour. 50? Uh, 20. 20? Yeah, that's right. Per, per stack? Yeah, that's right. So um, people know Pylon Tech because they've been in Australia for over 10 years. So, uh, a well-trusted brand, but you've always been focused on just the battery side. Now you're integrating your own inverter. Yep. So this is your complete solution. Yeah, that's right. Now, you said it's uh, five kilowatt hours per battery module, up to 20. What say I wanted 40? Can I have parallel systems? Yes, for the single phase inverter, uh, this all-in-one solution, we can parallel uh, the other stack just over here. And we just need the RJ45 communication port to com uh, communicate with each other, that's all. So this is uh, all we need to parallel like two inverters together, and then, then we will have 40 kilowatt hour battery storage capacity. So you bring the solar in here as well as the battery connection and the AC, do you also have a backup circuit in case the grid fails? Yes, so on the this side, there is a backup port. So when the AC uh, is outage, so a customer lost the power um, on site, the backup circuits will working. So it will depends on the battery uh, capacity and provide power to the system. Great, so we can go big, we can have multiple solar arrays connected to this. I mean, how many MPPTs can we connect to this unit? Uh, three. Three yep. on a six, it's a six kilowatt unit? Yep. Wow, yep. That's, that's very unusual, that's very impressive. Because Australian roofs are really problematic. They, they face all different directions. So you, you really want more than one MPPT. Three is excellent. Yeah, single phase, yeah, we've got three MPPTs over here. Now, I believe we've got some CNI solutions. I think Ned's going to tell us about those now. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for hearing, Jeremy. Thank you. Okay. G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab, and I'm here on day one at All Energy with my friend Ned Yu from Pylon Tech. Ned and I have known each other for like nearly 10 years, uh, and so Pylon Tech have been in Australia for that long. So it's a trusted brand in the Australian market. But Ned's going to tell us about their novel CNI solution. Now, Ned, what are we standing in front of? Thank you, Glenn. Nice to meet you at Air Energy Expo. <laughs> Yeah, so actually this is our latest uh, light CNI commercial uh, solution. This is our fourth H3 uh, stackable battery. Each one is 5 kilowatt hour. You can stack up to 7 modules. So one tower gives you around 35 kilowatt hour, uh, kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hour capacity. And you can have multiple in parallel connection up to 210 kilowatt hour. So this inverter here, this Solus 50 kilowatt hybrid, would be an ideal match for these? The, these batteries uh, communicate with the Solus inverter? Yes, uh, this stack stackable battery also compatible with hybrid inverter in the market. Many brands. Many brands. Solus is one of uh, trusted brands with Pylon Tech. It's fully compatible, so once the customer connect the communication cable, all the uh, setting will be matched, so easy for uh, the customer to do the commissioning. And with hybrid inverter like Solis, we can unlock like the capacity from 30 kilowatt to 50 kilowatt. And you can also uh, parallel the hybrid inverter on the AC side. So it gives you the power range probably from minimum 30 kilowatt all the way to 250. So for this solution, the maximum capacity you can do is 200 kilowatt for inverter and 210 for battery. This is 1C battery, so it can give you very high charging and discharging power. 
Now, if you're not familiar with this term, 1C, basically it's the, the rate that you can charge a battery at. So in one hour, you can charge this battery fully, which when you've got uh, CNI applications where there's uh, maximum demand charges and you've just got a short burst of power that you need, this can deliver it. I think the other advantage to my mind is that uh, generally when you're thinking of a 200 and something kilowatt hour battery, it's a great big thing that you've got to crane into location. This is modular. This is like two people can install a 200 kilowatt hour battery. Yes, exactly. I think uh, uh, first first point, the battery only 39 kilogram, so easily for like uh, two people to lifting uh, manually. You don't need uh, any special lifting tools. And another one is the battery system is IP65 and with C5 anti corrosion. So this solution with solid inverter, you can actually install anywhere in Australia, even very close to the C-Shot. Yeah, the C5 rating is underestimated how important that is because much of Australia is actually in an area where there's coastal sea, sea breezes that bring salt mist in. And so C5 is the highest rating uh, for corrosion resistance. So these are really more than just outdoor rated, these are uh, like marine rated. So suitable for uh, locations in Australia where you get uh, high sea mist uh, atmospheres. So uh, when it comes to building a big system, you can do it progressively, can you? Like you could start with just one stack and then add more? Yes, and especially with Solis inverter, actually they have two inputs, two DC inputs. Even you have like a different battery capacity in each side, it's still manageable by the inverter side. Now, I know you do have a CNI solution that's even bigger. Shall we go and check that out? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Thanks, Ned. Thank you. G'day, Lucas. It's uh, something pretty big we're standing in front of here. So this is your CNI solution? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Glenn. Yeah, this is our CNI container, uh, sorry, cabinet solution, and it's called L260 Omni, which means it has a nominal capacity of 260 kilowatt hour, and it's a liquid cooled solution. What's the advantage of having liquid cooling in a battery system? Yeah, liquid cooling is uh, like a strong demand in the APAC market, especially for Australia. So the main city in Australia is located near to the sea. And the corrosion is a big headache for the installer and APC customers. So you know, the energy storage system is designed to operate more than 10 years. And if the, if the container or cabinet has a low anti-corrosion protection, a painting on it, maybe after three or five years of operation, they will have corroded. And this is a big problem because every electrical device will shut down or be uh, tripped because of this corrosion. So coming back to the storage capacity, so 260 kilowatt hours, what is the charge rate for this? Yeah, the charge rate is a half C and the battery module itself is designed as IP67 and the whole cabinet is IP55. So the, this is liquid tube running around the battery modules and we have the bi-directional valve as well. And it is designed for easy maintenance, which means the customer can release the valve on both directions and no leakage. And and also we are coupled with uh, AC coupling PCS module with its 125 kilowatts nominal power rating. And now we are uh, working to design and develop another version of this cabinet to have a 135 kilowatt PCS module with higher IP rating and anti corrosion rating upgrade to the highest level, which is C5M. And the customer can install the whole cabinet 500 meter near to the sea. I mean the latest version. So one of the advantages I suppose of liquid cooling is this is a sealed cabinet and it's pretty big so it could be put outside yeah. in the sun yeah. and it'll still keep the batteries at a safe operating temperature. Sure. What about the PCS? So is it liquid cooled as well? Uh, for the for this the standard solution we are open to the market now the PCS itself is fan cooling and the battery chamber is liquid cooling. It's a good question and the liquid chiller units can control the ambient temperature from minus 20 degree up to 55. So the sum of the area, maybe in Western Australia, the ambient temperature can all go up to 40 degrees. And with direct sunlight, it can heat 50 maybe. So we are keep working on the expand the ambient 
tolerance of our solution and bring it to the, uh, the most suitable solution for the Australian market. So if 260 kilowatt hours is not enough for me because I'm greedy, uh, can I get two of them or more? Yeah, so for now our capability for power law connection is t up to 10 cabinets, so which is 2.6 megawatt hour in total. And above them we have more like a suitable bigger solution for the utility scale uh, projects. Yeah. So Pilotec do everything from your small residential systems, as we saw with the H3X, yeah. uh, to your modular CNI solutions uh, with the Force H3, and now with the uh, I, sorry, L260 Omni, yeah. uh, you can do really big right into the utility market. Yeah. What's the Omni part mean? Uh, the Omni part, maybe I just introduced the whole family. So we have the for container and. The, uh, cabinet solution we have the HY, the BAT and Omni. So if you see one of our product which is named by HY, it means it's coupled with a hybrid inverter and Omni means it's coupled with an AC coupling PCS module. So it can do, uh, the, the, the name, namely it can do everything and the BAT means it's a purely DC block integrate only the battery uh, part and the customer may purchase the uh, PCS or AC set from any third party uh, partner with Pilotech. Right, so this whole battery module, if I want to connect solar to it, it's AC coupled to the uh, PCS inside. Yeah. yeah that's, that's great. Yeah. Well, Lucas, thanks for telling us about your really amazing CNI solution. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing more. Thanks yeah, very much. Thanks, thanks for the interview. We good.